Check out Natful's Community tab everyone. Here are the Miami Dolphins news today. Miami Dolphins sign defensive lineman veteran John Jenkins. Miami Dolphins 2021 offseason program set to start on April 19. Miami Dolphins GM Chris Greer, Coach Flores are staying at Notre Dame Pro Day. Re-ranking the biggest Dolphins needs in 2021 NFL Draft. Subscribe and let's go! Miami Dolphins signed defensive lineman veteran John Jenkins. The Miami Dolphins appeared to be in the market for one more defensive lineman during the recent stages of free agency when they hosted New England Patriots defender Lauren Sky to explore the possibility of a fit. That effort did not materialize into a contract agreement and the Patriots have since resigned Guy to their roster on a long-term contract to keep him as a rotational member of the Patriots' front. As for the Dolphins, they have apparently moved on from the interest in Guy as well, as reports have come out today that the Dolphins are signing defensive lineman John Jenkins to a one-year contract with the team. The signing of Jenkins is notable for a number of reasons. First, it marks the return of a rotational defender from Miami's 2019 roster, Jenkins was able to log 479 defensive snaps with Miami over 16 games that season. And now, after a one-year stop in Chicago, Jenkins returns. But Jenkins' signing is significant for another reason, too. It officially makes him the elder statesman of the Dolphins roster. At 31 years of age, Jenkins is the only Dolphins player under contract over the age of 30. The demand for Jenkins in 2021, presuming he makes the active roster, figures to be low thanks to the presence of players like Christian Wilkins, Zach Sealer, Raekwon Davis and Adam Butler. But an experienced insurance policy is a great thing to have up front in the trenches nonetheless. Miami Dolphins 2021 offseason program set to start on April 19. Get ready to buckle up, Miami Dolphins fans. We may still have plenty of hurdles to clear before the Dolphins are back in action for competitive football games, but the Dolphins themselves will be back to work for the first time of the 2021 league year before you know it. According to a memo sent out to NFL franchises this week, the standard opening date for off-season programs this year is April 19, meaning we are less than three weeks away from Miami Dolphins players jumping back to the team facilities for off-season work. Best of all, the memo includes mention of potential amendments to on-field work, meaning that this year's offseason will not be strictly virtual. That was the case in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but the league appears intent on avoiding those same circumstances once again this offseason. For the Dolphins, the chance to hopefully get added time on the practice field for light on field work would be massive. The Dolphins roster is among the youngest in the NFL and there are valuable mental reps to be had by walking through conceptually what the coaching staff is going to be asking of the players this upcoming season. For a young offensive line group with a new center ready to enter the fray, the Dolphins will benefit from communication and affirmation from co-offensive coordinators George Godsey and Eric Studsville on what the offense will look like this year versus last season. And, of course, Miami's starting quarterback will benefit as well. Tua Tungavailoa has been clearly hard at work this offseason on improving himself physically for the rigors of year two in the NFL. But mentally, Tungavailoa will need to take an equally large leap and time on the field as early as this month would go a long way in helping facilitate that needed improvement. Miami Dolphins GM Chris Greer, Coach Flores are staying at Notre Dame Pro Day. The Miami Dolphins pushed hard in 2020 to try to find the right blend of offensive linemen to secure an upgraded front entering their second season of rebuilding under the Chris Greer, Brian Flores regime. The end result of Miami's heavy investment, which included two starters signed in free agency and, by the end of the year, another three starters drafted in the 2020 NFL Draft, was a group that was better than before but yet not where it needs to be. Miami's youth along the offensive line figures to offer hope for player development in 2021, but holding to the status quo of last year's group feels like a recipe for failure for the Dolphins. One starter is already gone, center Ted Karras returned to New England after a one-year stint with the Dolphins. In his place is currently free agent signing Matt Skura, but the team may not be done with just a needed change at center. The Dolphins have been tied to a number of offensive line prospects, including Oregon's Penne Sewell with their top pick. But Miami reportedly made a fresh appearance at a team's local pro day yesterday, bringing their offensive line coach to South Bend to observe the Notre Dame linemen in action. Of the three Irish linemen, 
Banks feels the most like a potential Miami Dolphin. At 330 pounds, Banks is a big, physical blocker but he simultaneously offers a surprising amount of mobility to move laterally and not just be a blocker in short spaces. That was one of the challenges that faced Solomon Kindley in 2020, the rookie guard had a hard time reaching defenders on the second level to help pick off flow to the ball when action went outside the tackle box. Kindley showed plenty of promise and deserves the chance to have an encore as a starter, but the Dolphins do need a long-term replacement for Eric Flowers at left guard. Could they like what they've seen from Banks? To further connect the dots, Banks was on the Dolphins roster in Mobile this past January for the 2021 Senior Bowl, so the Dolphins staff has already got in their hand both him and fellow Irish lineman Robert Hainsey, who is facing a potential transition inside at the pro level. That added time together will be something to watch as Miami looks for value additions to the line during the 2021 NFL Draft. Re-ranking the biggest Dolphins needs in 2021 NFL Draft The Miami Dolphins addressed some needs in the first wave of free agency but work still remains in some areas. The bigger issue right now is to retake stock of the Dolphins roster and examine the biggest needs heading into the second wave of free agency, assuming Miami will even get involved in it and the draft. Running back. This is an interesting spot. The Dolphins still do not have a bona fide star at running back, which has led for some to call for the team to draft Najee Harris with the 18th overall selection, and we'll address the pros and cons of that idea at a later time. But the Dolphins are kind of in a similar situation as they were in last offseason after they had picked up Jordan Howard, though they obviously hope the Brown signing works out better, and if they decide to go running back by committee they just might have three solid pieces in Brown, Miles Gaskin and Salvin Ahmed. It says here the Dolphins would benefit from another quality running back, but it might not quite be the need many are making it out to. Degree of need. Fairly significant. Wide receiver. We posed the question before free agency started of just how big a need the Dolphins had at wide receiver and our conclusion was that the one element really missing was an outside speed guy. Enter Will Fuller. He is that guy. He now joins a wide receiver core that includes Devontae Parker, Preston Williams, Jakeem Grant, Lynn Bowden Jr., Foster, Kirk Merritt, Malcolm Perry, though he's listed as RB, WR, and 2020 opt-outs Albert Wilson and Alan Hearns, both of whom plan on returning. If Parker can duplicate his 2019 performance when he stayed healthy the whole year and was maybe the best wide receiver in the AFC, the Dolphins would appear set at the position for 2021. But there's a lot of injury history in that group and they're no sure thing number one receiver, which is why you hear so much about Jamar Chase or Jalen Waddle or Devonta Smith. In reality, though, it is not the team's top priority. Need. Fairly, fairly significant. Tight end the Dolphins could be set heading into training camp with Mike Jasicki, Durham Smythe, Adam Shaheen and Carter, so this is perhaps the lowest priority position. Having said that, if the Dolphins had the chance to land a truly special tight end in the draft, cough, cough, Kyle Pitts, that would be something to consider. Need. Minimal. 